Hello, everybody, and happy Tuesday. I am all dressed and ready to do my little exercise. We're going to go walking when Jada gets home. Um, so we are on this mission to lose some weight. We are not actually doing a real diet, per se, but I am counting calories, and I am cutting carbs. So I showed yesterday in our meal prep that I made a meal that was 180 calories for Jada, and mine was 170 calories, but it actually turned out to be like 120 because I really didn't eat any broccoli. So that works out great. It was a nice filling meal. The broccoli, not the broccoli rice, Lord have mercy. The cauliflower rice is actually really good. It's really filling. It's like eating rice instead of, it's like eating rice, but it's not rice. It's vegetables, so it's good for you. Um, so we are doing that. I'm going to use the MyFitnessPal app to keep track of my calories. And then I know there's another app to keep track of my walking. I think it's my walk or something like that. Map my walk. I'm going to put that down so I can keep track of how many calories I'm burning when I'm walking. And we're going to go from there. After Jada gets home and we go for our walk, and I figure out what we're going to have for dinner because my meal prep that I did last night is only going to be for her lunch for the rest of the week. So then I know that she has lunch every day this week. So now I have to figure out what are we going to have for dinner every night. So... Since she doesn't really do fish, I can't cook her fish, so I guess it might be chicken. Um, but I know that we can also do other things. I know that there's different steaks that I can incorporate, but they say red meat's not good for diets, but it actually worked out good for Jada when we did it before, so we're going to try it again and see how that works out. Um, we're just making sure we keep track of everything that we eat. Let's see here. So, after we do all that, then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch R. Kelly. What is it? Uh, surviving R. Kelly? So we're going to sit down and we're going to watch that today, and then I'm going to do my review on that. Uh, oh, I had a bad day today. My back tooth chipped. I am so upset about that. Like, way back there, it chipped. I was eating a boiled egg, and I thought it was a shell from the boiled egg, so I was really about to be upset with myself because I hate finding eggshells in anything that I'm eating. That is the worst feeling in your mouth. But it wasn't even an eggshell. It was my tooth. But I have a dentist appointment on Monday, so I already got it fixed. I already got it covered. Ethan is sitting over here being a big boy. He's sitting on his stool. We have been in potty training all day. Potty training has been full effect since 10 o'clock this morning. Ethan has had one accident all day. He had underwear on earlier, so we changed from underwear and put on a pull-up because we can't go through all his underwear in one day. But he has been going to the potty every 30 minutes. We have been putting him on the pot, and he has found a way to make himself pee every time he goes on the pot. So we're doing great. All right, everybody, we're going to get ready to do things we need to get done. Ethan's going to finish his little sandwich. You're going to finish your little ham sandwich, baby? You're going to think about it? All right, everybody, we're headed out for our walk. Um, I don't know the distance we're going to walk, so I will let you know that when we come back. But we are on our way. All right, everybody. So we managed to walk two miles so far. We're almost home. So it'll be about two and a half miles by the time we're done walking. Walked up some hills, down some hills. We did a little bit of jogging. It was nice. I'm still walking fast, so I'm short of breath. So excuse my breath. But I think we did a good job for day one. Well, day two. Yesterday, we walked down the street for about a half a mile. But today, we actually did some workout. Tomorrow, we're going to do it again. And every day, we're going to get better and better. So now, we got to go home. we got to go find some dinner. Get some dinner going. Then, after, after dinner, we got to sit down and watch this R. Kelly nonsense and tell you what I think. All right, later. All right, until later. Hello everybody, it's me again. Well, so today we did our exercise. Um, we ended up walking about three miles today. Uh, we burnt 272 calories and it felt pretty good. Tomorrow we're gonna turn around and walk another three miles. Um, I also said that I was gonna watch the R. Kelly and do my review and I did watch two and a half episodes of it. There's six episodes. So I am writing down information as I go. So once I finish the docu-series, then I will do my review. However, there's so many things going on in the world right now. It's so crazy. We got R. Kelly. We got this idiot in the office. Okay, so everybody hates politics and everybody hates getting into politics and talking about politics and talking about Republican and Democrat and all this stuff. Well, I'm sorry. Today, here we go. The idiot that sits in the White House, you know, the guy they call Donald Trump, the person they say that is the president of the United States, that idiot, the guy with the orange skin and the white hair, the white toupee looking shit on top of his head. Yeah, him. This idiot is talking about the government shutdown is needed and it's all the Democrats fault. I know you guys all hear about this and everything else, but does the idiot not know 
how it affects the country. Like, let's think about it for a little bit. So it's not affecting him and it's not affecting his aviation. It's not affecting his family. It's not affecting his family and their finances and their living situation. It's not affecting nobody that has the money like that. However, when it comes down to reality, people like us, it is affecting. It's affecting those families that do work for the government. It's affecting those families that help get help from the government. It's affecting a lot of people. And I'm saying that to say this. So those people that do work in the government, some of them don't know when they'll be getting a paycheck, when they'll be going back to work. Some of them might be living paycheck to paycheck. We don't know their, their circumstances. However, we do know that the idiot has got everybody on pins and needles because nobody knows what's going on. The families that are getting help from the government. We have families that are on public assistance, getting WIC. Hey, what are we, even unemployment. Did we even think about that? All federally government funded programs are at risk right now because who's getting a check right now? Who's getting any money? Who's getting any food stamps? Who's getting anything? Nobody. Why? Because nobody's at work. Who's going to work and they're not getting paid? Not me. I'm not going to work for free. Come on now, let's be for real. So, with that being said, now that we're talking about politics and the people that voted him in, okay, you guys may have been happy and so excited because you got Donald Trump in the White House and he's going to make America great again. But what is he doing right now? He's not making America great. He's actually ruining it. Every second longer that he sits in that White House, he ruins it. He's talking about he has it shut down for this wall. Okay, so we're going to spend billions of dollars to build this stupid wall. That's just only going to cover the southern border, right? But we have water all the way around the United States. So are we going to build a wall all the way around the United States? Did we forget there's immigrants coming from other places other than Mexico that is doing uh, trafficking? What is it? People trafficking? Can't say just child trafficking. It's people trafficking because they're stealing people off the side of the road. It's not just kids anymore. There's adults going missing nowadays. So, yeah. So there's people from other countries doing that. Easy. Done. Boom. You're gone. And they're not just coming from Mexico. They're coming from across the water somewhere. Some of the idiots are coming from Russia. Some of these people are coming from China. They might be even coming from Europe. You don't know where the hell they're coming from, but they're not all coming from the southern border. So building a stupid wall is not going to help that. Oh, then you're like, oh, it's going to keep all the drug trafficking out. No, because drugs come in on planes all the time. Drugs come in on boats all the time. So what is the wall really going to do? Right now, you're just throwing a temper tantrum. Get over yourself, Donald Trump, because grown men and grown women are not allowed to throw temper tantrums, especially in the position and the power that you have. You need to grow up and face reality. You need to realize that you have the whole United States at the palm of your hands and you're risking everybody's life. Not yours, not yours, not your rich friends, not your little buddy and your compadres, but those normal people, those average people that voted you in and wanted you to make America great again, you are risking their lives. You are risking my life. You might not care about it because I'm a little black girl. Sorry, a little black, white, Indian, and Korean girl. So I'm all mixed up. I'm a little mutt. I might be related to you and you don't even know it. How about that? We might have the same ancestry, but you'll never know. But it doesn't matter. But you're so stuck on Mexicans. What did they ever do to you? What did you do, get beat up by one when you were a kid? Ah, oh, too bad. They're the hardest working people in the country. Next to all the other immigrants that are in the country. They all work hard. So... I hate to say it, I mean, a lot of, there are hardworking Americans, yes there are, but most hardworking Americans do not want to get dirty. They don't want the dirty jobs. We don't want to clean up hotels. We don't want to clean toilets. We, you, have, you like how I said that? We, not just one, not just the other, me included. I don't want to clean a hotel room. Not after people have been staying there and you don't know what they've been doing all night. I don't want to clean anybody's toilets. I'm sorry, I think I'm too cute for that. I hate cleaning my own toilets. So I don't want to clean somebody else's toilets. I don't want to go out there and stand in the sun all damn day. I don't want to be in the fields. But all these wonderful jobs in the hospitality industry that you love so much because you'd be on that plane going every damn where. But who's going to be on the plane taking care of you? Who is going to be catering to your every beck and call? Not a normal American citizen. I'm sorry. We're lazy as shit. That is not something that we do. But whatever. That's his whole argument. But immigration is shut down right now. So you are... They're in a temper tantrum because you can't build a wall to keep immigrants out. However, immigration is shut down right now, so you think ICE is keeping people out? Probably not. Hell, half of them's probably calling into work just like TSA. They're like, I'm not going to fucking work if I'm not getting paid. Excuse me, people, for my language. I do apologize. I am throwing a rant right now. But it is just ridiculous how our society is turning. I'm like, 
everyone, there's so many people that was just for Donald Trump. And if you guys don't see it now, then I don't know when you will see it. And as for you idiots that did not get out and vote, I bet you'll get out and vote next time, huh? I get you guys to get off your lazy butt and do something about it. Oh, I won't make a change. I can't make a difference. I bet you learned something now because now it does affect you. You see, when the government shuts down and things happen in the United States, it does affect you. So your decision does matter. Your choices and what you decide to do does affect everybody. So because you didn't get off your lazy butt and go and make a vote, guess what? Now we got Donald Trump sitting up here messing up the world right now. Yep, that's what's going on. Well, that's my rant for right now. Um, I'm not going to keep going on and on and about it, but I just felt like I needed to get it off my mind. I was sitting here watching the news right before I was about to go to bed. I just put Ethan to bed, Ethan and Jada to bed. They're both laying down. And I was watching the news and I was like, oh... I have to say something about this. I'm so tired of Donald Trump. I'm so tired of this nonsense. See, I'm still going on. I'm still ranting. I'm still raving because I'm still upset. Okay? Because I don't understand. I really don't. He thinks he's really doing something right now and he's really not solving anything. Oh, it's the Democrats' fault. They won't sign the bill to get the wall. Because we're not idiots. We're not going to sign a bill to waste no money. Come on now. Why would we sign something that's going to cost billions of dollars that somebody's going to tear down anyways? Look at the Berlin Wall. Didn't they tear that down? Sorry, it's not going to happen. You might as well get over it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Please, Lord, please help us. Help our country. Um, I read an article that came on Time Magazine that the Democrats have moved for impeachment. So that is a positive thing. However, I don't think Pence is any smarter than Trump. So I don't think it makes any difference. They're both idiots because Pence is still letting Trump do the stupid stuff he's doing. So what makes him any better? And I'm sure that it, from... What I see and what I believe, I think his racial standards are a lot worse than Donald Trump because Donald Trump at least has an immigrant wife. So, um, other than that, hmm, what's that guy? Is De Soto? They just wore him in. Uh, yeah, he's. We're gonna do some more research and talk some noise about him too. Um, I think that's about it tonight, you guys. Uh, as far as the R. Kelly thing, yeah, that's some serious stuff. We're going to really talk about that. We're going to get into this. It's going to be a really in-depth conversation. That's probably all that blog is going to be about is R. Kelly. Um, but let me get off this one because I'm running out of time. I'm up to 10 minutes talking to you guys right now, and I still have more videos to add to this right now. So I don't even know if I'm going to have enough time to add my walk to this video. It just might be a rant that I pose, put on YouTube. Whatever I do. Either way, I appreciate you guys listening. Please subscribe to my channel. Please let me know how I'm doing. Please like, comment. Let me know your opinions on the matter that I'm talking about. Let me know what you think about Donald Trump and his government shutdown. So, you know, that does affect tax season. So, you know, if the government shut down, no money for nobody. All right, everybody, please like, comment, and subscribe. Give me your opinions. Let me know what you think. And we will get back to you. All right, everybody, have a wonderful evening, and I appreciate your time. Bye. Good night.